Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this hat. And today I'm using Red Heart Super Saber Chunky Yarn. And I'm going to use red and royal blue. And a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. with a chain and this hat works from the bottom up and I'm going to start with a chain that is long enough to wrap around the head so here are the number of chain stitches that you will work for each size okay I've worked my chain slip stitch to join being careful not to twist the chain so slip stitch to join chain two one two Double crochet in each stitch around. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it through the stitch, pull up the yarn, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And I'm going to continue to make double crochet all the way around, and at the end of the row, I will slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Okay, I made a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. For the next row I'm going to alternate front and back post double crochet. So first chain two to get started. To make a front post double crochet yarn around the hook. Insert the hook under the post from the front. So that's a front post and then complete the double crochet. To make a back post yarn around the hook. From the back come around the post, pull up the yarn, complete the double crochet. So I'm going to work all the way across alternating front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So I'm going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and that's the bottom of the hat and now I'm going to change to red and I'm just going to make double crochet all the way across the row and then I'm going to make double crochet in blue and then I'm going to make front post and back post and I'm just going to keep repeating that one row of double crochet in red one row of double crochet in blue front and back post in blue. So to change color I'm simply going to pull my yarn up in that last stitch. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay I worked all the way around in red the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and now I'm going to pull up my blue and I slip stitch chain two and double crochet in each stitch all the way around so you'll work all the way around slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and then the next row will be front and back post double crochet there's my two rows of blue my row of double crochet in red and I'm working my row of double crochet in blue and then front and back posts double crochet will be the next row and then just continue to repeat that. One row of double crochet, one row of front and back posts, double crochet in red, double crochet in blue, front and back post and then repeat one row in red, one row in blue, one row front and back post, one row red, one row blue, one row front and back post double crochet and for the cowl that will be it you'll be finished and I have a video on how to make these little buttons to add as tags to your finished garments so you could just sew that onto your cowl and now I'll show you how to make this into a hat okay to make this into a hat leave a long yarn in or start with a separate length of yarn and weave through the top row of stitches. Just pass through every third stitch or so. Knot this. And then just weave your yarn ends back and forth into the finished hat. 
and I'll put a link below on how to make these faux fur pom-poms. And also the link will be below for how to make these tags. So then you can just attach this tag to the bottom of the hat and attach a pom-pom on the top. And there you go. That's a very easy hat and cowl set that you can make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.